Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been so long since I have recorded a video. I've just been really busy with my Instagram, my podcast, and I'm coming back on here. I'm doing an April Favorites video, so I'm really excited about that. I've got lots of beauty products and a bit of wellness and lifestyle products that I'll just get right into. I don't want this video to be super long. I've got a few products to kind of sift through, and then, yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start with skincare first. Um, I have three cleansers that I've been rotating or between that I am absolutely loving. Um, so two of them are oil cleansers. The first one is the Leolani. This is the Tropical Enzyme Cleansing Oil. Um, I don't know why the bottle is so sticky, but this has been my favorite um, cleansing oil to use when I'm kind of like in an uplifting mood. It's got a very tropical, sweet scent to it. And I find this super effective at removing my makeup. I really, really enjoy the smell of it. And I love Leilani products. The other oil cleanser that I've been really liking, guys, I like literally only use oil cleansers, is the Sahajan Ayurvedic Blend. This is the Essential Cleanser. Um, I really like this one. I'm not really in the mood for that super sweet tropical scent. I want something a little bit more subdued, a little bit more calming, relaxing. So I love oils for cleansing it just depends on my mood if I want something that's really uplifting I'll use this one and if I want something a bit more calming then I'll use the Sahajan and then another cleansing product I have is the Audacity Blue Aura Cleansing Water this has been amazing it actually was officially launched April 29th though I did get a chance to actually try it beforehand before it was actually released so I've been using this I really like using this in the morning time when I don't have any makeup on um, I'll just put it on an organic cotton pad or a reusable cotton pad and just wipe that on my face. And I actually talked about this in my 12th podcast episode. And um, if you guys haven't checked out my podcast, then definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, starting on the 12th, 12th episode, I'm doing um, a TGB tip fave or swap. So I basically just say one or the other or sometimes a combination of two or all of them. Just sharing something that I've been loving, a swap that I've done, or a tip that I've been doing that I think is really useful. And I actually shared this as one of my favorite products. So really liking this. It's just a really interesting concept. And you don't wash it off after. I just really like this. Um, it, this is still dirty. <laughs> but this kind of ties into my cleansing routine. It's the cloth in a box. It's basically like a really nice microfiber washcloth and I really like it's like a heart shape you put your hands here and that way you can kind of like wash or rinse off your face with your cleanser and it's easy to hold and it gets any water so it's only dripping down your arms um, and then I also have these little mini ones so you just put this on your finger and it helps to wash off your eye makeup um, super gentle they work really well they work just with water but I typically like using a cleanser and it's just way more effective than the traditional washcloth in my opinion I really like it I think it's an amazing product it's super gentle on your skin and just feels really nice and makes it like a lot easier in my opinion to clean your face other skincare products that I have been loving I have two serums the first one is the Indie Lee Daily Vitamin Infusion. You can tell I'm basically done. I'm like, I'm here. Thankfully, this was in the April detox box. And it actually came with another product I'm going to show. But you would get the full size, which is 30 ml. This one's only 10 ml. I find this serum amazing. It really helps to kind of like plump my skin, soften my skin. I find it just looks amazing. And I use this morning and night mostly mornings I find the the best results when I use it in the morning so I've really been liking this and then the serum that I've been applying every single night is the Graydon skincare full moon serum um, I've actually done a full review on this on my YouTube so you guys want to go check that out it's got so many amazing botanical ingredients in it that kind of mimic the traditional target ingredients like hyaluronic acid and retinol there's so many different ingredients in here that are going to really help protect your skin help be um help with anti-aging properties and everything like that so this has been such an amazing serum to apply at night and then 
In the morning time after I've applied my morning Indie Lee Daily Vitamin Infusion Serum, I go in with the Daily Skin and Nutrition. This is basically a moisturizer. Also came in the April Detox box along with the full size of the Daily Vitamin Infusion. So it was like such a great value. The two of them in combination with each other, I find my skin always looks super glowing and radiant and I am obsessed with both of those. The um, Piper Way, this is a deodorant, it's an activated charcoal deodorant. Um, I ran out of my Agent Nature deodorant and I got this when I went to a detox market event. And so I started using this because I was like, I'm not going to buy another one right now if I have one. And I've actually really been liking it. It's like a dark, a dark gray. It smells pretty refreshing, kind of like a little bit lemony and minty. Maybe a little bit of eucalyptus. I'm not really sure what's in here. Peppermint. That's what I smell. Anyways, very refreshing. Um, I find it pretty effective. And yeah, this is just the deodorant I've used all April. And I've had no complaints. Um, also, as the weather's been getting warmer, I've really been enjoying self-tanning. So I've been using the Vida Liberata. This is the fast-acting tan mousse. Um, and I like mousse. Mousse bronzers or mousse self, mousse self tanners. Um, Vita Liberata has been one of those brands that I've constantly been using, um, especially when it comes to my sunless tanning routine. They are organic and they're rated a zero, a zero on Think Dirty app, which is amazing. And I find that their products have a little bit of a smell like normal self tanners do, um, but it has a really nice color payoff. So I've really been liking the Vita Liberata. Okay, so moving on to hair stuff, I've got two. Um, we'll start with the in shower one. This is the um, Organic Color System Power Build Treatment. This was actually recommended to me by my hairstylist. She is a holistic hair expert. I actually had her on the podcast in episode number five, and we talk all about how to transition to natural products, why it's important, how it's going to affect your hair. So it's a really informative video if you're looking for tips on how to transition to greener, more non-toxic hair care products, because that can be a little bit tricky. I find most people are kind of, um, that's like a harder area to transition to, just because there's more questions about the effectiveness of it. So definitely go check that out. But this treatment is essentially a mask. You're supposed to leave it in for about 10, 15, 20 minutes um, in damp hair. So you kind of wash your hair first with shampoo and then you apply this and step out of the shower because there's no way you're gonna spend 10, 15 minutes just sitting in the shower. You're gonna think that that time passed in really only three minutes. So step out of the shower, set a timer, and then keep this in your hair. This is amazing for anyone who color treats their hair or especially lightens their hair or bleaches their hair. When we are bleaching your hair, essentially what happens is you're drawing out the protein and you're damaging the protein. You need to put protein back in your hair, which adds that structure and smoothness and strength. So this was the product that um, Diana, my hairdresser, recommended. I got it from her at her salon, the salon that she works at. And I found this as like an incredible product because um, I did find my hair was getting a little bit dry. It wasn't growing as much. And so, I just couldn't find a protein treatment that was natural and that was with better ingredients and so I'm really happy about this product. And then the other product that um, I've been using for a while and she also actually recommends is the Inner Sense Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. This lasts you so long, the bottle's so big, it's 10 fluid ounces. This is literally going to last you for forever so it's totally worth, totally worth the money. Um, I apply this into my damp hair after I get out of the shower. I spray it mostly on the bottom ends because it can make your hair look a little bit greasy if you apply too much. Um, and it basically helps smooth out your hair, adds shine, um, gives it that extra moisture. If you're someone who doesn't like using conditioner in the shower, then you can just do a shampoo in the shower and then apply this following if you find you have like tangled hair. Um, and then the other tip that she said that you could use this with is that if you have dry hair and you get flyaways frequently, or you kind of struggle with frizz, you can apply a bit of this into the palms of your hand and then apply it to dry hair to kind of help smooth it over. So I haven't personally tried that. I don't struggle too much with um, flyaways, but I feel like that'd be a great tip if that's something you want. You don't want to use a product that's full of silicones. Um, so been loving this, not even just for the month of April, like for months now. And then the last hair care product is the Kaya Naturals. This is the Taksumi Detox Dry Shampoo. 
Um, I don't really like dry shampoo because I find it makes my hair pretty gritty and dry. Um, but I also don't like overwashing my hair because I find that I just don't have the time and I find it very time consuming and tedious to actually wash my hair every single day. So this has been a lifesaver when I kind of want to maintain the longevity of my hair without showering between or styling it. So this has been a lifesaver. They have a blonde and a brunette one. I've done, I've used both and I, I haven't complained about either of them. Um, maybe you see a difference more if you're brunette, that the brunette one would be more beneficial, but either way, I found both the brunette and the blonde one beneficial in my opinion. Um, and it's got charcoal in it to help kind of like draw out those impurities and the oil and it has a bit of um, like natural fragrance to it. It smells like I thought it smells fine in my opinion. Oh, it's the orange. So it has orange in it. It's got a pretty pleasant smell. Um, you can apply this at night, like the night before, and then you wake up and you kind of like brush through your hair and it's supposed to be nice and fresh. But honestly, I kind of forget most times and I'll apply it in the moment when my hair is greasy and it works just the same. Okay, so let's move on to some makeup products. So I have been really just keeping it super minimal. I'm not wearing any makeup today. For the most part, I like to keep my, my skin um, pretty bare. And I think it's just because I've been loving my skincare routine. I've been loving the way my skin looks, so I'm using less makeup. So I kind of keep it really simple. After I'm done my skincare routine, I'll go in with the Saint Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade Linen Light. This has been my go-to concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. I've raved about it on my Instagram stories. I think it's better than the RMS concealer. It's better than any concealer I've tried. It's got like the doe foot applicator. Um, I don't need to even set it. It doesn't crease. It lasts a long time. The shade range is pretty decent. You can buy it at Whole Foods. You can buy it online. The pricing is relatively affordable. It's about like $36 Canadian for this. It lasts quite a long time. Honestly, it's very comparable to a conventional concealer in my opinion. And then I'll sometimes go ahead and set my makeup with the um, Well People Bio Baked Brightening Powder in Universal Glow. It's essentially the same as the translucent setting powder that I use frequently but in a pressed format or pressed formula. I really like this. It's got a little bit more sheen in my opinion and if I do want to go ahead and set some of my cream products then I will go ahead with the Well People Bio Baked Brightener Powder. And then I'll go in with some bronzer. The bronzer I've been really loving lately is the um, bronzer in the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo. So you'll see it's like pretty beat up but I'll just go in with this as like my contour and bronzer and I've been loving it lately. And then I top it off with the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, favorite mascara, green mascara of all time. I find it super amazing for lengthening. Um, and that's pretty much my goal with my lashes. I love lengthening. It does a decent job at volume, but I would say it's better for kind of lengthening your lashes and really making them stand out. And it's a pretty true black. And then I'll finish it off with the Fit Glow Beauty. This is the um, lip serum in go it's like a pretty transparent pinky nude it's they smell amazing they kind of remind me of the mac lip glasses like that really sweet vanilla kind of smell but they're like way more hydrating and they actually kind of help like plump the lips by smoothing out the lines in your lips and go is just like a universal color like it's just kind of that like super easy nude neutral color that if you have no makeup on it still looks good so okay so finishing off with some lifestyle products um this is supposed to go down to recycling which is why it's all crushed up but i thought i would show you the box i've talked about this in my instagram stories before it's the one coffee these organic fair trade 100 percent compostable pods um canadian organic fair trade they're made in chicago illinois and I really really like this coffee for the longest time I was drinking like Starbucks Keurig pods um, other ones you can just find at like the regular um, grocery store and then I discovered this at Whole Foods and I was like oh okay like I really should get organic coffee because I was reading about how organic coffee can it's just so much better for you because coffee crops in general are very highly sprayed crops so they're full of pesticides herbicides insecticides all these different um, 
repellents that you're eventually ingesting and the processing isn't that great. And so I wanted to make the switch to organic coffee and organic tea. It goes the same, it's the same for organic tea as well. Um, and so the breakfast blend and the French roast blend are my favorite. I find that this organic coffee tastes like way better than the other ones I was getting at the grocery store, like Starbucks, for example. I find that the taste is better. I can drink it black. I find I just feel better that I'm using a Keurig pod that's compostable. And I just think like the price is right as well. Like for a pack of 12, it's $8.99. It's literally the same price, if not cheaper than the Starbucks pods, which I think are like anywhere from $8.99 to $12.99. So it's like, why wouldn't I get the organic version? So. I really like this brand. I haven't found another brand um, that's close to me that's organic and I just like, why not? So if you guys care about your coffee and you use a Keurig or whatever, then you can do this. If you just use a French press, I think there's a little bit more options when it comes to organic coffee. Other like lifestyle products, um, I have a few supplements that I've been trying more recently, so I don't want to include them in the April favorites, even though I've really been liking them just because I used it for less of April. So I'm gonna be talking about some um, supplements that I've been using more in April. One of them being the Hum Beauty Z. So these are uh, melatonin and B6. I will not take these every night, but if I have um, a, a day shift I have to go to in the morning and I'm just, I get anxious sometimes about the shift that like I need to take something to help me sleep. And previously I'd be taking like gravel or Benadryl, like something that has like drowsy side effects to help me sleep, which isn't like totally ideal. So I decided to go to melatonin. Um, I know there's, there's research and people say that if you take melatonin frequently, your body stops producing its own melatonin, then you're not able to sleep and all this stuff. Um, this is not something I take on a regular basis. It's really more occasionally. Um, and I find that I get like the best sleep when I have it. So if I'm really anxious or I'm unable to fall asleep because like my thoughts are spinning, then taking this I find really, really helps. You take it 20 minutes before you wanna to go to bed and then you should be able to fall asleep quite fast. Um, and the other supplement that I've been taking from Honey Nutrition that I've really been liking is their green superfood powder. So this is their mint chocolate chip infusion. I will usually just mix this with water and like shake it. Um, it helps boost energy, radiant skin, metabolism. It's got raw greens, adaptogens, enzymes, and probiotics. So it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Um, it doesn't have gluten, yeast, milk, nuts, selfish, salt, starch, artificial colors or flavors, which is amazing. So especially if you have an aversion to any of those. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to get your greens in. I have been getting more into having greens and it's kind of cool that it's got all these other things in it as well that are have antioxidant properties, digestive properties, um, adaptogenic properties like ginseng, ashwagandha, rhodiola, um, licorice root. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that's kind of like a do it all, this is a great option. Um, the taste is okay. Like I don't, there were some fruitier ones. I kind of wanted something a little bit more sweet. So that's why I got the mint chocolate chip. I mean, to have mint chocolate chip in like water is kind of weird. Um, but just to kind of like cut down on like the calories that I'm having, I will just mix it with water and I, I find it tolerable. So that is that. And then just for general like wellness, um, I have the Love Fresh. This is really beat up. I don't know how it got so squished, but all their cleaning products I'm obsessed with. So I have the Marble and Granite um, Top Cleaner, the All Purpose Cleaner, and the Glass and Mirror Cleaner. So. They smell amazing. They're made with non-toxic ingredients. Um, they're super natural. They smell amazing. They've got different types of essential oils in them and it's just amazing. The packaging itself is biodegradable, which is also very eco-conscious. Okay, you guys, so I ran out of <laughs> uh, space on my card, like my SD card, so I'm refilming this portion, so if I cut out, I'm sorry. Um, I was just talking about the Love Fresh products. Oh my god, I'm like blanking out now. Um, and how Candice Batista was the one who basically introduced me to this brand. Um, if you listened to episode number three of the Green Bell podcast, I'm chatting with Candice Batista. She is a eco-expert and um, she's also the founder 
of the Eco Hub, which is an amazing resource if you're looking at having a more sustainable, eco-friendly lifestyle. And she talks about basically air pollution and how our cleaning products could be contributing to that. And so um, this was one of the brands she recommended and I've been loving their products. They're just phenomenal. They smell amazing. They're very effective. So I've been loving that. And I also really like the brand Sapodilla. Um, and then another thing that I've been really loving is essential oils, um, particularly using them in my diffuser. So for like years now, I've been using the Sage um, diffuser. I have one right here in the back. I've got one in my office, one here, and then one in the bathroom. And so I've been asked um, a few times what my favorite blends are. So I thought I would share what my current favorite blends are right now because I literally have like 20. Um, and they're all by Sage. I don't know why, like this is just the brand that I've really loved that I've purchased for the last couple years. And so this is just my collection. Um, peppermint Twist is an amazing one. It's a, kind of like a sweet peppermint. Um, kind of smells like candy canes, but like not as artificial. And this came out in their holiday collection. I think it comes out every single year during the holidays. Um, so I'm not sure if this is something that's available all year round. But I really like using this one in my office because I just find it brings like a lot of mental clarity and I really like using it when I'm recording a podcast. Um, and peppermint's amazing if you are prone to headaches. Um, so love that. The other one is Mountain High. I typically burn this one, burn, diffuse this one in um, the kitchen and in the bathroom. Oh, it smells so good. So <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining scents, so I'm not going to butcher it. But essentially, it kind of reminds me of just like, I'm sure it has to do with like the fact that it says mountain. So it just reminds me of being outdoors and it smells very fresh and like fresh, crisp air. The other one I really like is yoga. This is like the first blend that I think I purchased from Sage. I also have their, their mist. And again, I'm not gonna butcher the explanation of this, but it's just like a very zen smell. Um, obviously yoga, you think of something that's very meditative and therapeutic. And so whenever I just need to kind of like de-stress and I wind down, um, if I'm reading or if I'm just kind of journaling or writing down ideas for, um, podcast interviews or YouTube or Instagram ideas, then I'll diffuse this. And I always find that they just kind of put you in a different state and they help you kind of bring you to that state where you're just more calm, relaxed, happy, whatever it is. And so I love, I love that. So that is it for my favorites, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know it's been such a long time since I've recorded a video and I apologize for that, honestly. Between my podcast and my Instagram and trying to keep that up to date, it's it's been a little bit difficult to manage all three of them. You know, starting a podcast is something I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And so I kind of put my attention in that um, as it was starting. But I absolutely love YouTube. I love sharing and kind of being like in person with you guys and sharing my favorite products and kind of feeling for like face to face. And so I want to get back into it more now that the podcast is kind of settled and I've got some content for, you know, a couple weeks in ahead. It allows me to do a little bit more, more YouTube stuff. And so I really enjoy it. Um, obviously, if you guys want to see me more frequently, then definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, I post daily on there pretty much. Um, every once in a while I'll have like a detox Instagram day. Um, but yeah, like follow me on my stories. I'm constantly sharing information, so check that out. And then obviously, if you're new to my YouTube or you only follow me on YouTube and you're not familiar with my new podcast, then definitely go check that out. It's The Green Bell on both iTunes and CastBox if you're an Android user. And I basically interview founders and experts and wellness experts, uh, nutritionists, doctors in so many different areas of, of health and wellness and green beauty. And so it's just like an extra addition to what I'm already doing in which I bring in other people that maybe I don't have all the answers. And so I want to provide this information to you guys that maybe I'm not fully well versed in. And so it's kind of giving another perspective, some additional information that I wouldn't myself be able to teach you guys. And so it's just an amazing platform. I post every um, Monday and Thursday. Drop a review. I love reading reviews. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. I was like almost tearing up the other day reading your reviews. Um, it's just like a way to for you guys to show that you are watching and listening and enjoying and I so appreciate it. So more YouTube videos coming. Check out my Instagram if you want daily inspiration and photos and to stay connected and then definitely my podcast if you want to kind of have that inside scoop on things that 
I didn't even know or you know I'm interested in learning so that is it you guys I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching